Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. Today's video is about the generation of amplitude modulation. Here we will discuss two different ways, two types of uh, generating amplitude modulation, AM. Okay, so these two ways are low level amplitude modulation and high level amplitude modulation. So what is the difference between these two ways? Let's understand these ways with the help of a block diagram first then I will explain it to you in detail. Here uh, in a low level amplitude modulation, this is the block diagram of low level amplitude modulation. Here we have a low level AM modulator. It has two inputs. At its uh, first input, we apply modulating signal source and here we apply the carrier wave. So its two inputs are modulating signal and the carrier wave. This has been generated by the RF carrier oscillator. Okay. so. Since this is a low level amplitude modulation, therefore before applying this modulating signal, we do not amplify this, neither we amplify this RF carrier before applying to low level AM modulator since it is a low level amplitude modulation. But when we get at its output the AM modulated wave, then we use wide band power amplifier. This is used to amplify it. This is used to increase the power level of this amplitude modulated wave. Wide band is used to preserve the side bands of the amplitude modulated wave and then it is transmitted with the help of this antenna. While in case of uh, high level amplitude modulation, what we do, here you see this is the high level amplitude modulation block diagram. Here before this is the high level AM modulator. So it operates at high level Okay, so before applying this modulation si modulating signal, that's it, that is the message signal and the carrier wave, we first use power amplifiers. This is the wideband power amplifier, which is used to amplify the power levels of this modulating signal. And here we use narrow band power amplifier for uh, amplification of this RF carrier. Okay, RF carrier wave, and then they are applied to the high level AM modulator. So before applying it to high level AM modulator, we first amplify these uh, this carrier wave and the modulating signal. So this is known as high level AM modulator. While in case of low level uh, amplitude modulator, we first uh, applied these um, carrier wave, this carrier wave and the modulating signal directly to the low level AM modulator without amplifying them before. But it is being uh, amplified after we get the amplitude modulated wave. But here we have to amplify them before applying it to high level AM modulator. So let's discuss uh, them in some detail. Now we understand the basic difference between the low level amplitude modulation and high level amplitude modulation. So we can say that in a low level amplitude modulation system, the modulation is done at low power levels and very low power is uh, associated with the carrier wave and the modulating wave. This modulating wave is nothing but the message signal. So at the output, we get uh, low power levels. So we use wideband power amplifiers to boost it to the desired level. We use wideband power amplifiers because since this this uh, AM modulated wave that we get its output has a carrier wave and two side bands and just to preserve the two side bands we need wide band power amplifier. This amplitude modulated uh, system that employ modulation at uh, low power levels are also known as low level amplitude modulation transmitters and uh, some examples of this uh, low level uh, AM modulator are square law diode modulator and switching modulation. These are the two examples of low level AM modulation. So now we will discuss the high level amplitude modulation. As it is clear by the name that uh, in a high level amplitude modulation system, the modulation is performed at high levels of power, at high power levels. Therefore, to produce amplitude modulation at these uh, high power levels, we uh, the baseband signal and the carrier wave they must be at high levels of power. With the help of block diagram, you can easily understand this fact that uh, we have used uh, this wideband power amplifier 
and uh, this narrowband power amplifier to amplify the modulating signal and the RF carrier respectively. We use this wideband power amplifier to amplify modulating signal because it contains lots of frequencies. Just to preserve all of these frequency components present in the modulating signal, we use wideband power amplifier. While this carrier wave has fixed frequency, therefore narrowband power amplifier is sufficient for its amplification. At the output, we get amplified modulating signal and amplified and power amplified this carrier and we apply them to this high level AM modulator. Then this is transmitted with the help of this antenna. The example of uh, high level amplitude modulation is the collector modulation method. So I think you got the concept. In the next videos we will uh, discuss this amplitude modulation in more detail. We will see various derivations and block diagrams, their generation method, the modulation and their demodulation processes and different types of uh, amplitude modulation we will also discuss. So keep watching Engineering Made Easy and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. Friends, for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.